102 days ago, these two young engineers died a terrible death on Pune's roads. Ashwini and Anish, fatally mowed down by a speeding Porsche, driven by the drunk, underage son of a real estate tycoon. And now, just over three months later, with justice still far from being served, a shocking act of VIP arrogance. The 17-year-old accused, living a free life after being granted bail, has now approached the Juvenile Justice Board asking for the return of his Porsche car and passport, both seized in May as part of an ongoing police investigation. India Today has learnt that the teenager's defence lawyer Prashant Patil had submitted an application requesting the return of the passport and vehicle. Shockingly, the teenager's legal team has argued that since the boy is on bail and since he has written the famous 300-word essay he was asked to write to secure initial bail and since he has completed a court-ordered road safety course, hence the luxury car worth 2.5 crore rupees currently held by the police should be returned to him along with his passport. A decision on the matter was initially scheduled for this week but due to an adjournment, the Juvenile Justice Board is now expected to issue a verdict on September the 26th. Two months ago, after spending just a few weeks in a juvenile observation home, the Delhi High Court granted the teenager bail, shockingly noting the teenager's personal trauma in the incident. The case, brought under the national spotlight by India Today's coverage, has been an uninterrupted list of VIP actions, entitlements and manipulations of the law. From bribery to MLA muscle power to criminal switching of blood samples to the dadagiri of a powerful family. The application for the return of the teenager's Porsche and passport is only the latest slap in the face of the quest for justice.